more to the song than that, right? Gotta love a song about yodeling. Anyways, um, okay, so... Uh, anytime I get a question, I try to answer it, whether it be texting it back to you or responding email or doing a video. The question was, what is this guitar it was hanging in the back of the, the, behind me in a video? So I decided to talk about it, especially because this guitar brings up a subject, and I love a subject better than a question, which is shenanigans. In my circle of friends, shenanigans is a term we use to explain when your friend is about to do something dumb, right? So let me give you an example. If I was to tell my friends today, hey, I think I'm buying you another Blues Junior, my friends would say, oh, that's shenanigans, and here's why. I've owned five of them. So obviously it's something that I like, but I don't love because I don't keep them. There's nothing, my problem is I love the Blues Junior. No, my problem is I really, really like the Blues Junior. I just don't really, really love the Blues Junior. So although I think it's a great amp and I feel like the need to use it, or sorry, I feel that I like it, I don't use it when I own it because I have so many other amps that I don't get to it and then I sell it. That happens a lot. It's a product that I, for some reason, really attach to, but not so much that I play it over the other amps. And then when it sits for a long period of time, I think, well, why do I have this? And I get rid of it. Shenanigans. Okay, this guitar was shenanigans. Basically what this guitar was, this is a three, $400 Dana Scoop used, okay? And what I did to it was I did what I do when I do my shenanigans. My big shenanigans, or, or my scenario where I call shenanigans, is like kind of like when a friend buys a $1,500 car and puts $3,000 rims on it. It's a bad investment. Now, I'm not into investing in guitars that way, so that's not what I mean. What I mean is it's putting good money after bad. This guitar, like I said, is a $350 to $400 guitar. Here's what I did. I had it custom painted, so you figured I was about $250, $300 for the paint job. It's in a silver pearl, which is gorgeous. I had it refretted, okay? Um, I do refrets all the time. However, uh, my friend Darren Mahoney, uh, Mahoney Guitars, he does amazing fret work. So I had him do my frets. The guitar was painted uh, by Atomic Guitar Works in Pure, Arizona, and they do amazing work. And that's who, had, that's who did my, my cool swirl, too. Anyways, they did this guitar, uh, Tim and Harry at Atomic. Amazing. So then I put these Schaller tuning keys in, which are cool because they have little windows in them. Um, uh, and then... I put these low pro knobs. I'd never seen these before, but they're 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 just metal knobs. They're low low to the ground, low to the body. So that was fun. And then I this is the thing that sucked. I bought a Dimarzio Super Distortion in purple, and I did that because I wanted a purple neck. So I went to order the purple neck, and Dimarzio discontinued purple. They don't make the purple. They make them humbuckers. They don't make them singles. I can't get a fast track or a single coil purple. I ordered some aftermarket covers, and they're lavender. They don't match. So. Thanks, Mario. Anyways, um, so, uh, anyways, um, by the way, that's not fair to Mario. I just thought it was funny. Okay, so anyways, um, the, uh, so the, the point of my making on the guitar is, what is this guitar? This guitar is an $800 guitar uh, that I put by $800 into it that's worth about, if I put this on eBay, I would probably ask five. I think I could get five for it. So you get the idea. So that's a loss of $300. Um, and again, not that uh, we're trying to invest money, but as we know, one of the coolest things about collecting guitars is the minima minimization, minimization, minimization. Eh, you have to minimize how much money you lose. We know that a smart play in guitar is that if you buy a guitar, generally you don't want to lose that much money. Does it make sense? A used Strat at $600 is a good investment because you know, worst case scenario, it's worth five. So you lose a hundred dollars. Best case scenario is worth seven to eight. You make a couple hundred dollars. We know how the play works, right? Does it make sense? Now, that all being said, since I got about another 30 seconds to talk to you. Um, so that's the answer to the question. It's an Alvarez Dana Scoop that I had custom done up. Now, the other funny part is why did I have it done up? So I want to tell you that last part because it's important. So when I had got my first smartphone a couple years ago, I was on eBay and I saw an Alvarez Dana Scoop in red and it was listed as perfect condition red and red. And I looked at it and I bought it. So I paid about four or $500 for this. When I got it, it was red. However, it had red flame decals up the, the thing. They were like decals. I guess you like buy flames, you know, decals like for a car kit or something. I don't know, just whatever it is, decals. And then the person that took a paintbrush and brushed on lacquer over the whole entire body. It looked horrendous. I was furious, but when I looked on the uh, at the ad 
the, the auction on a computer, you could see it in the pictures. Now he didn't put it in the description and I couldn't see it when I was on my screen that was about three inches by two inches. So, so even though I think I could have thrown a stink and got, got it sent back, I decided just to turn it into an opportunity to make this cool guitar. This is my favorite scoop. This is the one I'd keep if I got rid of the other. And then the last thing, just so you guys know, I like Dana scoops. I think they're cool looking and they're fun, but please don't uh, go out and buy one if you think that I'm, I know some secret. This guitar does not play any better or do anything any better. In fact, um, they are very average in every way uh, as a guitar. Now, if you're into scoops, don't get in, don't get offended that I just said that. You know what I mean. I'm just saying it's a great guitar, but it's not an amazing guitar. So lots of cool tone. So now we know today, we learned the term shenanigans. So I want you to think of yourself when you're on the internet looking at gear and thinking about what you're going to buy. You got to ask yourself, is this a shenanigan? Is this something I should be doing? Is this a good move for me? And again, don't think of the financial, just think of it as the stress. Think One last thing on the shenanigans. One thing that happens all the time is sometimes I buy something, it's not even the money I make or I lose or whatever. It's really like the emotional part of it. In other words, I get the, I, as soon as I buy it, I go, why did I buy that? I mean, I, but my biggest shenanigan is when I dump money into stuff I shouldn't do or buying stuff again. I keep buying stuff. In other words, I get rid of like a wall pedal and then I buy that wall pedal back and then I get rid of it because I don't use it. But then I buy it back because I miss it. It's very stupid. And so I'm trying to knock it off. So now we know the term is called shenanigans. Or if you have a better term, put that in the comments. Make sure you give me my ups if you like the videos. Uh, subscribe if you would like to because, again, that lets me know to do more videos. And uh, thank you for your time. Know your gear.